Hello, this is Julius from Basic Financials again. Um, this video I'd like to speak a little bit about pension contributions. Um, I'll just say a little bit about uh, how the tax and how the tax works just for like a, a private pension scheme to start with and then talk a little bit about auto enrolment which is what people will have probably heard a little bit more about on the television over the last few years but um, let's say you're an employee uh, at a company or a business that, that doesn't have its own pension fund and so you get paid every month and you've been thinking oh I think I better put something away um, for the future for when I retire which is a very good idea um, how do I do that and you might decide to set up a private pension scheme where nothing to do with your employer you just pay as whatever you want to within limits but I won't go into the limits at the moment because that gets a bit messy um, but you, you decide I'm going to pay let's say £100 a month into a pension scheme um, and just they take it out by direct debit from your bank account um, and, and hopefully you forget about it and that's it nothing to do with your employer now one of the reasons why that it's a very good idea to do. Um, it's because for every every pound, well, say every eighty pounds you put in to a pension company, the government will add twenty pounds to it. So it costs you eighty pounds each month to get a hundred pounds into your your um, your pension scheme. Now, okay. There's lots of arguments whether or not uh, it's a good idea because uh, investments can go up and down in value um, the investment company will take charges out um, and yes you need to look into that sort of thing although there's very complicated and most people will end up just going with some something that somebody's advised and, and stick with that and not worry too much about the charges. Now if you if you put eighty pounds in into a into a, an investment and immediately it's worth a hundred pounds uh, that's not bad is it really um, and there's they've got quite a lot of scope for investments to go up and down for you to start worrying that your 80 pounds might have been better stuck in a in a in a like a cash savings account um, so it's from that point of view it's it's, it's You've got to think. Well, it must be worth it, mustn't it? Um, and the the other the other good thing about it is, if you decide to put in eighty pounds a month, uh, it just becomes an expense, uh, and you f you do forget about it. You do pay it every month. It's a bit like your telephone contract. Say you you just accept. Okay, that's what you're paying. Um, and but the nice thing is it's it's not actually an expense it's actually savings that will be there in the future and once you've got 800 pounds in there actually it'll be a thousand pounds in there because the government's put in an extra 200 pounds and you hope that it will have grown as well where with the investment work that's done it norm normally does that's not a guarantee that it will do but um, over the long term which is what you do pension scheme for um, you would expect it to go up in value um, now it can get even better if you're a forty percent taxpayer, and um, so if your if your earnings are over, let's say your earnings are about fifty thousand pounds or more, um, you actually get tax relief, an ex extra tax relief. So you put in eighty pounds into your pension contribution for a month, straight away the government will add uh, another twenty pounds. That's um, to make it up to a hundred, um, but because you're a forty percent taxpayer, you will actually get another twenty percent tax relief. So you would pay pay twenty pounds less tax than you would have done if you hadn't have put that pension contribution in. So it's actually cost you sixty pounds to get a hundred pounds into your pension scheme. Now, if you imagine doing that over the years. You know, but six thousand pounds it's cost you to get ten thousand pounds in um that makes it sound even better doesn't it and, and it is so really pension contributions have got to be a good thing uh, from that point of view from the tax relief there are has been talk about 
the government cutting the higher rate tax relief in the future, but they've been talking about that for two or three years, and so far it doesn't happen. So uh, just keep your ears open for that. But even if they did, you know, you're still going to get the basic rate tax relief. So for every eighty pounds in, you you get a hundred pounds into your into your pension scheme. Um, now, this, a similar sort of thing works with auto enrolment. So, but the only thing is, it, it, it's the company. Is, uh, is normally associated with your employer. Um, if you get the chance to go into the scheme, you should do really. Um, it's, you might opt out of it if you've got your own arrangements, um, but you don't need to. You can have as many pension pots going as you want. You do have to watch out for the amount that you're paying in, but I'm not going to get into that because it could start getting complicated. But basically, with it auto enrolment, it's it's similar in that it is your pension pot. So it's if you leave the company, you've still got that pension pot. Um, it won't go anywhere. It will keep growing. Okay, they'll probably take fees out of it but um, there are things you can do with it and, and things are changing you might be able to move it with you as well um, but the, another bonus of auto enrolment is as well as having uh, contributions taken out of your pay and the government either giving you tax relief um, by you paying less tax or adding to the amount of 20% to it so you put in £80 you, you'll get £100 into your scheme or it might be that you actually have £100 taken off your gross pay and you pay £20 less tax. But either way, it's going to cost you £80 to get £100 in there if you're a basic rate taxpayer. Um, but the the employer will also add an amount because they have to put in a certain percentage. I won't go into those percentages. Just just say it is worth doing. Um, so pensions, pension contributions are definitely worth considering. Okay, yeah, investments go up and down, but just the tax relief um, has got to be a good start for you. And um, if you've got any questions, comments below, please like and um, subscribe. And thank you very much for listening.